The main goal of any designer out there is to get better at what they do and also to get more money. But how to get that if you're not getting better? That's what we are going to discuss in this video. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and tip number one is simply test your clients. See what the clients are telling you and giving you feedback so that you can improve upon that feedback and it's usually the rule if two or more of your clients are telling you the same thing, it's not about them, it's about you and you really have to fix that issue that they are keep telling you to. So that can be your speed, that can be your delivery, that can be your reply time to their email or to their feedback, that can be your typography, white space, whatever it is, make sure to look between the lines and see what your clients clients are telling you, so your actual clients, not your design peers or colleagues, and then make sure to understand as soon as you can improve upon what they are telling you, the sooner you're going to become a better designer. So just read between the lines and see what your clients are telling you and just improve upon that. Tip number two is research the competition. Now, the competition can be other designers in your niche and in your industry, but also competition of your clients. So if you're working with one client for a really long time on a retainer, for example, or for a salary, then you can really do the research and see what the industry is moving towards to and see your designs. Compare what the industry standards and new trends are, compare it to your designs, and then you can perhaps improve upon your designs see what they are using, if they are using a lot of different gradients for example, if the gradients are something which fits within your client's brand, then perhaps you should investigate and see if those gradients can be integrated into your design as well. Make sure to see what the competition in terms of designers are doing, see what rules they are following because design trends are keep changing all of the time, so every year we have these new different trends that are going to take over the world and then next year they never appear. So just make sure to understand that as well. Don't invest too much time and too much of your client's money in the design trend which is not going to stick. So make sure to do your research properly, to do your research two or three years in advance and two or three years before because that way you're, you can understand which design trends are going to stick which typography trends are going to stick, which image trends are going to stick and so on. Because the last thing you want to do is take your client's money that they hardly earn and invest it in something which is not going to work long term. So just think about it, research your competition, both designers and your client's competition. Tip number three is improve your weak points. All of us as designers and as people have some weak points and only we know our weak points. So my weak points in design is typography and I'm really working hard on it to improve it, but that's my weak point. What is your weak point? Make sure to find it. Make sure to understand that you actually have a weak point because the last thing you want in this business is to have big ego because your ego is going to get crushed really easily. So make sure to understand which are your weak points. Make sure to be honest with yourself and to work on these weak points. So as I said, my weak points are typography and I'm really working hard on it. So I'm taking online courses, I'm reading different books, I'm taking practices, I'm working hard all of the time for years now to improve on my typography skills because I recognized it really early that it's my weak point and I always try to improve it. It's getting better every single year but I'm still not satisfied with it and I probably will never be satisfied with it but as I said I recognized it's my weak point and I'm working on it as a designer and I can see it through my, my uh, throughout my past work that clients are really getting more and more satisfied with my typography so that's how I know that I'm on a good track. When people who are paying you money to do the work for them are telling you you're doing the good job because you are improving upon your previous work. So as I said, find your weak point, make sure to understand which one it is and then simply work hard on it year after year to improve it and to get better at it. Number four is find a mentor. Now, as I said in my previous video on this channel about design mentors, I'm going to link it down below so you can check that video out. 
you can find a design mentor who is not all that more experienced than you are, but you can simply pick few tips here and there that is going to help you improve your design career and accelerate that design project that you already have, for example. So make sure to find a design mentor and make sure to ask them specific questions. And once again, please watch that video, I will link it down below to understand a bit better about design mentors, but design mentors can really help your career, they can really help you increase your speed and improve your workflow overall, which is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money in your business. And finally, number five is optimize your workflow. Optimizing your workflow is the main thing that you have to focus on as a designer because it's going to bring you more money, it's going to save you more money and it's going to increase your speed that you're dealing with your clients and their projects. Therefore, leaving you more free time to do whatever you want with your career and with your life. So how can you really optimize your workflow? You really have to work on it year after year after year because if you're just working on one single project, for a year and that's it, then perhaps you already have your workflow. You're using these icons, you're using these fonts, you're using this software, you're using this sharing platform and so on. So that is your one workflow. But as soon as you step out that project and into a new one, perhaps you're going to understand that there are better tools out there which are going to do the better job for you and for your client in a shorter amount of time, a lot cheaper and a lot faster, which is the most important thing in this business. As soon as you can get this done, it's going to be better for you because you're taking in more money. It's going to be better for your client because they're going to be able to put in the design that you created into production faster, therefore bringing their return back a lot faster. So make sure to understand what is your workflow to understand how can you optimize your workflow, improve your speed in order to make more money and in order to save you more time. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you found some value in it. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week on design, passive income techniques, motivation and more. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.